everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Today I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to increase your PHP upload or your PHP memory limit on your website hosted with us. Now if you're experiencing any nasty issues with your website, maybe it's a blank white page error or maybe it's a memory allocated error, um, but for whatever reason maybe your website just is not loading properly, especially if you just moved your website over to us from another hosting provider, you might find that you need to tweak a couple of your limits. Now a lot of the hosting competition out there, they require you to set up a custom PHP any file and it, it can be really confusing to try to keep up with that and to modify it, especially if you're not familiar with code. Well, well, at Name Hero, we try to make this extremely simple by placing this right inside of cPanel. So all you have to do is log into the website cPanel where the problem exists, um, click a couple of icons and change some values and save, and then you're all set. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to increase the, these limits, um, and it takes only just five minutes. So if you want to follow along, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to NameHero.com, and I'm going to log into my account. So I'll just hover over account and go to log in. I'm going to log into my demo account here. Feel free to enter your credentials. Next, you're going to see that two-factor is enabled. I highly recommend that if you work with us here at Name Hero, that you do enable this on your account. It's the highest level of security that keeps everything safe and secure. Once we're logged in, we're just going to go find the hosting package to where we have the problem. Uh, for mine, I'm going to use my um, demo site, Halloween Costume Blog. It's a basic plus package one of our most popular hosting packages currently on sale. Um, and then we're going to go to cPanel. So we'll click right here, log into cPanel. And we're now inside of cPanel where we can manage everything. And you can see inside of here, um, anything you need to do to your website can be done inside of here. So I'm just going to type in PHP so I can find it quickly. And you can see what I'm looking for is this icon right here, select PHP version. In my opinion, this is kind of... Um, uh, poorly worded. It should it should say configure and select PHP because inside of here you can do more than just select PHP version. So I'm going to click here and you're going to notice by default um, PHP 5.6 is what your account comes with. Now of course as this video ages that will change um, but currently as of filming um, the native version is 5.6. So if you're having issues with your site you've got to change that um, then I'm going to show you how to do it. So if um, you want to keep 5.6, which most of you probably will, unless you know your, all your scripts are compatible with 7.0, um, I'm going to click on 5.6, and you'll see I get all these different options. So what I'm going to do is click Set as Current, just to make sure it pulls off the default. Because our default doesn't have... Um, the, the certain limits that this custom profile has. Okay, so now to increase our upload or memory limit, I need to go over to here to switch to PHP options. And this is where I will be able to increase those values. So you can see that these are values that you would traditionally see inside of a custom PHP any file. Uh, but instead of having to you know, write that, you can um, just select them in here. So the first thing is the memory limit. So you can see that once you select 5.6, the default limit is 128 megabytes. I can click on that and increase it any higher than I need. I can go all the way up to 512. Now, I really don't recommend going that high unless you really need to do so. Um, but 128 most of the time solves most problems, but if not, definitely 256 does. If you go too much more above this, you might come in jeopardy of kind of hitting some other limits on your account, and it just really depends on how much traffic your website is getting. So I, I like to start with 128 and see if that fixes your white page issues or that fixes your memory issues. And if you still have an issue, go up to 256 and that should solve 99% of the issues out there. After you do so, click apply and then you want to click on save. And again, that should fix any memory limit issue you have, white pages, um, your website acting funny after a migration. Um, most of the time that will fix everything. Now, if you need to change your PHP upload limit, so you need to go into WordPress and you're trying to upload an image and it says, well, this file is too large, um, you can increase that here too. So the first thing you want to do is go to where it says upload max file size, and you can see the default's two megabyte. That's very small, and we do that for security reasons. So you can increase it, and again, I don't recommend going all the way up here to a gig because you're probably going to reach other limits and timeouts here, but I think 32 megabytes is a, is a nice medium to get you started. So select 32, click up apply and then click save and then you'll notice that you're able to upload files that are bigger than two megabytes. Now I also like to increase this post max size um, and again this um, 
this talks a little bit more about it, and it says it should be typically larger than your upload limit. So if your upload limit's 32 megabytes, obviously your post size is going to be larger than 8 megabytes, because especially if you're using the browser, for example, if you're using the WordPress uploader, um, it actually runs a post command when you try to upload something. So even though you're, you're allowed to upload greater than 32 megabytes, if you can't post it in the browser, then you'll get a timeout as well. So we want to increase that to 64, especially if this memory limit's higher. So we'll click that, click apply, and save. Now, at this point, your PHP installation is now optimized. You've increased your memory limit. You've increased your upload limit, and you should be able to go back to what you're doing, uploading your images, uploading your videos, um, or even importing backups or databases. You should be able to move on without any issues. Um, I will do other video tutorials that go into more detail about this, um, but that is exactly how you increase your limits. There is no need for a PHP any file. Um, again, once you're done, just make sure you do save it. And if you like to um, just be sure, you can always just refresh the page and make sure these new values are in green. Um, and that just shows that they are, that they are, they are no, non-default values. If you have any questions or if you need our support team still to assist you or to help you do this, feel free to submit us a ticket, to give us a call, or send us a live chat. We'd be more than happy to set these for you and walk you through this even again. Um, but thanks so much, everyone. And we hope that you enjoy the power of NameHero.com's web hosting.